December, the final month in the calendar year, the time when we typically buckle down and plan our strategy for achieving our dreams in the year to come. This month's videos are going to be all about planning and strategizing and doing it in a witchy way. To kick things off, we're going to we're going straight to the important stuff and discussing what I consider to be the four steps to taking action. Welcome back everyone, I'm Witch Hazel, sharing with you some of my experiences and observations gained along my witchy journey. If you saw my November videos on journaling, particularly the one talking about journaling for growth, you'll know that I had an aha moment related to my journaling process which helped me to alter what I do to make better progress in achieving change. In today's video, I'm going to go into more detail on that process in the hopes that it might be helpful. Okay, so to begin with, I have to clarify something. I'm a thinker. I think a lot about many things, constantly. <laughs> I can research and analyze until the cows come home. I was that kid, constantly daydreaming and staring off into space because I had so many things churning around in my head, I didn't have any capacity left for movement. Um, in addition to this, my memory isn't worth beans a lot of the time. so. I just think of way too many things to keep them all straight, therefore I am a constant jotter, always with a note or my journal, a napkin or an old envelope, five pens in my purse, you get the picture. I don't want to lose any of these thoughts, so I write them all down. The takeaway from this, which you may have already noted, is that I do a lot of thinking and not a lot of doing. This in itself is not a major revelation. I've always known I struggle with um, taking action. I just never found an effective way of dealing with it. This is where our first step comes in. Look at your current tendencies and planning system. My default system was and is a combination of planner and journal. I take down my thoughts in the journal and use the planner to schedule everything with a date or time commitment. Then I tack on a to-do list each day. Unfortunately, the to-do list never seems to get accomplished and just gets longer and longer as I migrate tasks from one day to the next. And I had been doing this same thing day in and day out, week to week, month to month, knowing it didn't work. Ladies and gentlemen, you may think you have a reputable system, but if you're not accomplishing what you want in life, there's a wrench in the works somewhere rooted out. In taking a good look at my system, I was forced to identify and admit to myself where I was falling flat. This amounted to two areas for me. First, I wasn't presenting my to-do list in a way that incentivized me to actually get it done. As a list of uh, off to the side or to the bottom of my day, it was easy to ignore, especially since I wasn't particularly interested in doing most of the tasks in the first place. Second, I had a bad habit of whining in my journal, as though just getting the negativity out on paper would make it magically go away. As mentioned in my earlier videos, that was not the case. Therefore, I had to ask myself, how can I make this better? In my journaling for growth video, I addressed the second item. I said I began taking a look at the recurring negative themes cropping up 
and began to ask, what can I do to change this today than actually doing it? The actually doing it part is what I needed to address with my to-do list. So let's take a closer look at how I went about it. Since I knew that the only place I didn't tend to disappoint myself was in showing up for appointments, I started by trying to convince myself that the actions I came up with for my journal and my to-dos were appointments. I found open spaces in my hourly schedule and plugged them in. Keep in mind, this takes some practice. In order to fill the spaces, you have to have a good understanding of how much time you need to accomplish the task and how much energy it requires. You also have to remember to figure in little things like meals and bathroom breaks. Sounds like common sense, I know, but trust me, it is not. <laughs> I am happy to report I had some success with this. And that brings us to the final step, which is putting your ideas into motion immediately. Since I had my to-do list and my hourly schedule in the same spot, I could instantly start to evaluate my schedule for gaps and then plug in the tasks I thought I could accomplish during the given time frame. It was messy and a little hit or miss at the beginning, but I got more comfortable with it as I continued to incorporate it into my planning. Don't wait to have the perfect plan put together. Just take a stab at fixing what you've identified what you've identified as the problem and adjust as you go. Putting it off until tomorrow is only going to increase the likelihood of failure through procrastination. As you will see in future videos, creating a system which is more likely to, to help me succeed has taken some trial and error and will likely never be perfect, but the important thing is that I am consistently accomplishing the majority of my tasks and the things I say I want to do in life. As a final thought, I'm going to ask, what can it hurt to try something new? Give it a real chance and see what happens. So have you reviewed your current setup yet? Have you identified the problem areas? What are they? If you don't mind sharing, let us all know in the comments. It will be interesting to see what the most common pitfalls are. If you've successfully improved your ability to take action on things, by all means share that as well. We all have a different path toward learning and improvement, so the more ideas we can get together, the better. If you've stuck with me to the end of this video, I thank you and appreciate it. If you're a worksheet lover and would like a guide to help you evaluate your own planning and task system, please check the description for a printable version of these four steps. If you found this video useful in any way, please consider liking and or subscribing. And until next week, blessed be everyone. Mm -hmm.